I just wanted to update you guys on the chipmunk situation. I went back outside. There's still a bunch of chipmunks out there. It didn't look like there was that many until you get out there and stand around a while, but I'm really starting to wonder if they really are chipmunks. They look like chipmunks. But the thing is, outside in the grass, there's little holes all over the place, like moles would dig, but they're not moles. Yeah, I just looked on Google. They're definitely chipmunks. There's a thing called a gopher chipmunk that looks kind of like it, I think. But these are just chipmunks. It says chipmunks live in burrows. That's underground, right? I think those little holes are burrows. Where they store food for the winter. So they're chipmunks. I always thought chipmunks lived in trees. Because I know squirrels do. I've seen hollowed out trees where squirrels like come in and out of there all the time. And like, I think there's a squirrel out there too because... Next to the road, there's a bunch of oak trees, and it has a bunch of acorns on it. And if you look underneath the tree, like where it's dark, you can see a little powdery stuff falling out, like squirrels up there chewing on nuts, and all these nut dust is falling down. So I was over there watching this one little chipmunk chew on an acorn, and I picked it up after he left. This is the acorn he was chewing on. Isn't that cool? I'm going to put that in some cereal later and eat it. Yeah, he was like, I was trying to get really close to him. So I'd take like one step very slowly, like every few seconds I would take a little tiny step. And the whole time I'm trying to be stealthy, there's a squirrel up above me dropping shit down on top of me, like acorns and stuff like that. But there's like, you see that one picture from my video, the close up? See that yellow stuff on the ground? That is, somebody took some bird seed out there and laid it on the ground. So I guess they're trying to attract a bunch of chipmunks there was like a flock of doves out there too I wasn't even aware of them till I was they weren't there when I first went outside and I was over there where the squirrel was at and I looked back and I walked over that way and a big bunch of like five or six doves flew up under the power lines and there's more chipmunks uh, one of them was like I was standing there at the bird seat and he just started bouncing towards me like he didn't even see I was there he just started bouncing that's how they run and he gets to me and he stops and he goes off in the other direction but like how could I catch one of those I want to catch one and bring it in here and put it on video I need some kind of cage I've got a bucket good uh, I'm not really sure what I would use how could I catch one I saw one go down in a hole I could put like something over top of the hole slide a piece of cardboard underneath it if it came out but I'd have to lay there and watch the hole until it came out and people would be going in and out of the apartments and think I'm crazy. Oh yeah, I should mention, uh, when I was a kid, I used to ride the bus home from school and I'd have to walk up to my house, like up this hill. I saw this, I guess it was a chipmunk, I thought it was a squirrel or something, on the side of this old dead tree. And of course, I was a dumb kid, so I just picked up a rock and threw it at it because I didn't think there's no way in hell I would ever hit it, right? The damn thing just dropped dead. And I look close and it's like a flying squirrel. Some kind of rare species or something. The little squirrels that like spread their legs out and they float and they glide down. I think it was one of those. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I could get some kind of stupid disease. I don't know. I could have rabies or something. Yeah. Yeah.